Last year we committed a $250,000 research grant to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, named the Kendra Scott Award in honor of my friend Holly Ruthell Kitchen. Today we're here in Houston, Texas at the Baylor College of Medicine to talk with the recipient of that grant, Dr. Suzanne Fuqua. Metastatic breast cancer kills nearly 100% of those it affects today. Dr. Fuqua and her team are working to change that. I am so excited to be with you here, Dr. Fuqua. What a, an honor it is to meet you. And, Thank you. You know, we're both Texas women. Yes, I understand that you grew up here in Houston. Did you know, since you were a little girl, what you were going to be? When did you realize you were destined to do this? I always wanted to be a scientist. In fact, I realized that when my mother pulled out of the attic an essay I wrote in middle school that I wanted to study cancer. And so I didn't wow. even realize that it went that far back that I had a passion right. uh, for the science. So scientists. you literally grew up to be your childhood dream. Yes. How do you get to that place from that little girl to today, now researching <sighs> metastatic breast cancer and doing all the amazing things you're doing? Once you find something you're passionate about, as I know yes. you have in your yes. career, that you just keep going for it. You don't let anyone tell you no. I know that you've chosen to focus on stage four. Yes, stage four. And specifically metastatic breast cancer. Can you kind of share some of your research uh, with the folks that are watching sure. this? I was studying the first cancer, you get primary cancer. I got a message from everyone around that the real problem was metastatic breast cancer. So I'm going to look for changes that are unique that are just in that metastatic cancer, and I found it. This is called our tissue culture. It can be a very crowded area because, unfortunately, they're busy. they're busy. Tell me a little bit about the team that you get to work with. Oh, the with. team. And I would love to learn about them because I know that I always say my name is on the brand, but it is the thousands of Kendra Scott family members that make mm -hmm. the DNA of our brand. So we have students in the laboratory that are learning about breast cancer. We have people that already have their PhDs, but they want to learn more, they want to specialize. Mm -hmm. and then we have people that are specialists. My lab director's been with me 16 years. Amazing. So what you're going to see are little clumps of tumors. Treat it for two weeks and see how I've reduced the growth or increased the killing. Right? Right. What regrows and what makes it regrow, that's the whole trick. So I've spent my career trying to find what it was doing, it's metastatic. It actually causes the metastasis. Right. And now what we're doing is trying to figure out how to stop it. It's so exciting that what you're doing can change the world. These women will have time with their children and get to hopefully meet their grandchildren. Absolutely. I mean, that is what you're doing here. Cancer takes a long time to develop. Right. Let's say six, eight, ten years. And at that point, it's not visible. You it's can't feel it, you might not know it's there, but it could be there. Right. But with a mammogram, instead of finding it at 10 years, let's say we can find it at 6 years. Right. That's 4 years that that cancer hasn't learned how to be smart. It's very simple. Right. Mammograms save lives. They do. Remember I told you that we had manual ways that I found the mutation many, right. many years ago? Mm -hmm. This takes like couple hours right. to do as opposed to weeks and weeks of men and labor. Yeah. So the technology has gotten so sensitive and yeah. powerful. You can see I even get excited. Right. Because every year it's just another leap yes. in technology that's making this possible. So awesome. I have learned so much today and well, come back girl, I'll I make you a scientist. Think, oh my gosh. I mean my true not hypothesis, mm -hmm. not belief but just my understanding of the science today is that we will control breast cancer. Oh. We, we will beat it. We will beat it. That because is the, the best thing I could have ever heard. <laughs> and, I, and I say that just 100% of strength, that we will find ways to stop the growth and contain breast cancer. Today has been an absolutely inspiring and amazing day here with Dr. Fuqua. I am leaving here so hopeful that the future is going to be brighter for all of these women who are battling metastatic breast cancer. That someday, because of the work that Dr. Fuqua and many others are doing, and thanks to Breast Cancer Research Foundation, this disease could be manageable. And that's something we can all be very happy about.